Welcome to another video. I filmed it in my first week in Bangkok when I was going out to try a bunch of different film photography labs. The photos that you're gonna see are all from the same roll of Fuji Superior Extra 400 um, 24 shot roll of film and I, I didn't really second guess myself when I was taking these photos. I, I was very much in a, a no rules kind of zone and was being very uh, explorative with my photography. What you're gonna see is kind of like a photographic sketchbook. It's not um, well curated and it's almost every shot from the roll. I think there's like 20 photos um, that I'm gonna be showing in this video and I'm gonna talk a little bit about them. So come hang out with me for a second uh, while I, I go through these pictures with you. Starting out, um, my destination in the morning was this lab that is also a coffee shop. And they ended up being closed, which was a bummer. Whenever you go out, you have to make sure that something is open on like three or four different sources, Instagram, Facebook, Google Maps. Apple Maps is garbage here. Um, but yeah, they, they said they were open and they're closed, which is a bummer. But I went ahead and took this, this picture of a, a speed limit sign. I really like the way that this picture turned out though. I think I'm starting to be more cognizant of putting my subject in almost the dead center of a frame because shooting on the Mamiya, shooting on, you know, six by seven, you're working with a more kind of squarish format. You're really approaching a square format. And I just find personally that my favorite images that I've taken tend to lean towards this center-weighted uh, composition. So yeah, that's kind of what I was going for here. This is where I, it was kind of easy for me to just postpone going to any other lab. After that one was closed, you know, I just said, let me just take street photos and enjoy my time here. this photo of someone putting uh, arrangements of flowers together. I think they're like a religious, there's a religious purpose and kind of blessing that you can put on them. This is a image where I would say I don't love the overall lighting on the sky, but I love the composition and how there's these balloons overhead and yeah, I just, I like this image and um, it was a good moment in the day. So after I was pretty dehydrated and um, overheated, I went to the commons in the Tongla neighborhood and yeah, I just sat there for a little while. I ran into this Thai couple that pulled out a Contax T2 and they were super kind and they, and they told me about a lab that they go to and I decided to make that my next destination for the day. Okay, so I just have to exit and go down this ways. And then it's somewhere down here. So the lab that they recommended to me actually ended up being closed, um, which was only a, a slight bummer because I took so many interesting photos in that neighborhood and I was actually able to finish up my role. Real quickly, I wanna talk about this photo right here. This is a, a picture that I took passing a temple. I was really happy with the way that this image came out and I love just how drab 
the colors are on the painting, but then how vibrant they are on the building, the architecture, the sky. Um, and I think just kind of this mix between the, the elaborate and the ordinary, as well as this ingredient of patina and, you know, natural wear and tear on items uh, is so uh, evident in this picture. And I think it's my favorite photo of the entire day. So I've actually put this photo up for sale um, on my print shop. I'll leave a link to it. And it's a great way to support my photography and support this channel. I was determined not to be defeated that day and I wanted to drop off my film somewhere and I decided to go to the lab that was originally recommended to me called Xanup. And when I showed up, you know, dropped off my rolls, they were literally, the scans were back to me in less than like two hours, which was just unthinkable to me. Um, after waiting, you know, seven days or more, at minimum, seven days in the States. That's gonna do it for this video and it's gonna wrap up this day of photography that I spent. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you come along for the next video. I've got three or four videos already lined up that are just waiting to be finished and uploaded. So please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.